What's going on, Julio? This is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO. So let's see what we got going on, see if we can help. So right off the bat, the only thing I was able to really find was your Facebook page. Now, um, honestly, I did click on the Twitter.com. You might want to remove that, especially if the account isn't really working anymore. Overall solid. Um, you got some nice pictures over here, unfortunately. Um, yes, you do talk about what you're doing, but um, there's not a lot of posts going on here, which means that, you know, People might look at this and say and see it as a maybe a little stagnant in a way, but overall, you know, you got your your number, you got what you're doing. Um, I do like the interior and exterior painting. You know, wallpaper removal, which obviously means a painting job, popcorn ceiling removal for you know painting the ceiling, drywall patching, uh, and repair, which is excellent. So you're really focusing heavily on painting. Um, but let's take a look and um, kind of see what happens when you do have a website. So just backing up a little bit, this is also in Raleigh, North Carolina. So some of the things Google really wants is, you know, when you have a, a website, of course, it drives a lot of traffic there, but what helps drive that traffic? So a lot of it is your content, but also what kind of keywords you're putting in there. So we call uh, keywords um, people that put things in Google to find something. Now, a buyer intent keyword is what somebody will put in Google that's very specific. So here, uh, as you can see, Painters Raleigh, North Carolina is a buyer intent keyword because, and I spelled it wrong, of course, um, Painters Raleigh, North Carolina, because somebody is looking for a painter in Raleigh, North Carolina. So right off the bat, we got an ad over here for Triangle Pro Painting. Um, it helps you get to the front. Another ad for Triangle Pro Painting. Uh, so they're really trying to get to the front over here. They're really trying to get to, you know, maybe maybe they're doing some stuff on the back end and this is the way of, uh, you know, them getting to the front of the line while that's happening. But right here is also the uh, Google My Business profile. This is where 30 to 40 percent of everyone who searches for anything will click on, especially if they have a website. So it's very important to get yourself in here with your website. Now, here is the organic search, so anyone can search for this and uh, and be found. Now, again, a website is just a tool that people click on so that they can see more about you and make more educated decisions. So more information, i.e. more content, means that the more people will trust you on it. So here we got Yelp, Home Advisor, Hughes. They're very much directories that people pay for to be in. Uh, people like actually just clicking on uh, an actual contractor or an actual business. So here we got uh, a touch of color. You know, Raleigh Painters, uh, just to look at their website, they got their number over here, click the call. They got uh, their name in the left corner. This isn't much of a header, but it does work really well. Um, they should have had something called services and have that as a drop down menu instead of putting all that over there. But otherwise, I can't complain, get a free quote. So as you can see, their number, like I said, they can just click on it right away. People are very lazy. So the faster you can and easier you can make it for them to just hit that call button uh, is the best thing you can ever do. Now, a lot of this is great for building trust, but somebody who's coming here in order to buy, they want to read about what you're actually doing. They don't care about this. They'll find it out. But they do have uh, some of their services and, uh, you know, kind of a learn more sort of idea, which is great. Um, people don't care much for videos, especially, like I said, if they're intent on buying. And then we have finally some content. Now, the content is very important because, again, we want to see buyer intent keywords in the content. And um, as I'm scrolling through, I'm seeing some, not a lot of it, but overall, solid website. You know, some of these are really good signing installation. So, um, yeah, no, overall, I can't really complain too much about it, except for the fact that it seems a little like um, suffocating. Like there's so much in there but not a lot about one thing and that's going to be a big problem and that's uh something you can easily do to beat them out now over here we got something uh this is the back end just looking at you know how they're doing so their a ur rating is basically uh how much or how strong their website is and they have a 32 in that which is excellent but the dr rating is how much google trusts them and they do have a 15 so that's pretty good as well now these are dependent on your backlinks. So if you have very um not uh very strong backlinks like uh, a painter's blog or something like that that really talks about you know uh, different things and their link their a backlink is where you know your website is somewhere else for somebody to click on it and lead back to you. So they have 338 out there, only 102 come back to them. Now obviously the ratio of one to three here is pretty good with good uh, follow links because they have a 15 here. Um, but they also have 158 organic keywords. So what people are searching and they're getting 382 people to their website a month through that. But let's take a look at what those keywords are. 
So right here we have the keywords, Raleigh Painter. So somebody in Raleigh is looking for a painter. They're getting a volume of 350 people a month searching for just that keyword, and they're getting 42 people a month through that because they're in position three. So they're the first thing most people will see aside from Angie and Yelp, and they're clicking on them because people like clicking on actual businesses. Raleigh Painting, 350 a month search for that. They're getting 42 people because they're in position three. As you can see, a lot of these are very specific. You can't really mess most of this up. Uh, Raleigh painting contractors, 30 people a month. Sure, not a lot of people, but they're still getting 10%. So as you can see, they're doing really well because they're on the front page by getting 10% of everything everyone is searching for, which is excellent. Now, um, how does this help you out? So honestly, all we really got to do is uh, get about, you know, forget about everything else. Uh, um, just mainly building the website first starting really small, getting the content in there. So, you know, talking about what you have, talking about what's going on, getting 2000 words of content, getting those keywords in there as well. So you can start ranking for it. And then on top of that, getting yourself a lot of these backlinks. Now, his are obviously really good. All we got to do, honestly, is just click on this, find out the ones that are really good and take them for yourself and then add about 50 more. So, that's all I really got for you. I really hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, of course, please feel free to reach out. Uh, if you have any feedback for me, I would definitely love to know. Other than that, you have an amazing day. Bye.